Hello everyone, I am the Jive Goblin. We are playing Age of Wonders 3 as a Goblin Warlord. Um, let's hop right on in. And we just left off last turn by completing the quest for this city down here. Yes. This city right here. So now this city is now uh, part of our glorious empire. So what we want to do... Ooh, and okay, so we finished our frost giant dwelling. So let's go ahead and make a few frost giants. Like maybe two, because they're not quite as good as the fire giants. But they are giants nonetheless. Now let's pump out a few more ogres to go with those giants. Okay, so um, I'm going to continue exploring here a little bit. This is... Uh, probably going to go up on a Monday. I am recording it Monday morning. I'll probably put it up tonight. So, um, with that said, let me address my new current planned schedule. I'm planning on releasing Age of Wonders 3 episodes on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So, this series should be, um... A new episode every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday until we finish it. And once we finish this game, maybe we'll start a different game with a different uh, character and try out one of the other classes. Um, I played the Sorcerer on my own quite a bit. I really like the Sorcerer. So maybe we'll do a Sorcerer playthrough after this one. But but we have a while to that. That's, that's looking a bit down the roadway. So let's send this unit up this way. Now that we're healed up, because this is our, our, this is us, and, you know, we, this is our tank, our tank unit, and I um, could probably get rid of that goblin marauder, but let's, uh, we'll, we'll go to the end, see if we can recruit a, a different unit that we can replace that marauder with, but for now, that's what we're working with. Yeah, so, uh, there will be... Um, episodes every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, <clears throat> and then Tuesday and Thursday, um, there are going to be episodes, uh, posted online, but they probably won't be in this game. They'll probably be in a different game. So, I hope you check them out when they come out. Okay, so, we finished researching Warfare 2, and I remember... Was it Steadfast Ward? Yes. So let's go ahead and start working on researching that. And we have another hero offering to join us again. But again, we don't have the money. So, yeah, I mean, these... We're producing some big troops. I mean, some powerful troops. But they're really kind of draining our resources, I believe. Yeah, see, our upkeep is 326 gold. Um, so we might want to try and f figure out a way to start producing uh, more gold so we can support an even bigger army. So, I mean, that'll come, too, with conquering cities. Oh, we found someone. And there's treasure on the ground. Let's go grab this treasure. We are about to trespass. Uh, let's just trespass. Screw it. We do what we want, right? So let's see what, what's laying on the ground here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. A lightning wand, high-heeled black leather boots, and an ignomin ignominous buckler of the outcast. So that gives plus two defense. 20% spirit weakness, and we're vulnerable to spirit. Let's just go ahead and give him that shield. And because he's here, we'll give... And he's a dwarf. He's a little short anyway. We'll give him the high heels. Um, and we'll send this staff. I don't know who he went to send the staff to. Let's send the staff to the medic, dude. Okay, so we just stole this person's uh, treasure that's laying around. Let's investigate a little more. Oh, we're out of move points. Okay. So you still want to join, but we still don't have the money. 
And uh, this scout's... I really don't trust this scout hanging around up here. So let's go check out this inn. Oh, man, there's a bunch of stuff up there. So at the inn, we have orc spearmen, high elves, a bunch of dwarves. I would like another dwarf firstborn, but that is 330 gold, and we don't have anywhere near that much. So I guess we're not recruiting new troops right now. Let's go up here and we'll clear out some of this stuff up here. And we'll keep an eye on that, uh, that scout unit hanging around down there. Okay, so this is the human city that joined us. Um, I'm not worried so much about pumping troops out of this. So we're going to make this a, try and get this to just produce some goods. Or, you know, resources. So we're, let's put in some stuff to grow it. Grow the city and maybe get, you know, this. I That might be a little too far away, but, you know, try and get some more stuff in its uh, sphere of influence here. So that uh, it produces more resources. So then we can in turn have a bigger army. Because that's always good. Okay, what can we produce here? So this is, what, our main city? Right? Oh no, this is the dwarf city. Okay. So what do we want to produce here at the dwarven city, I think? Well, we don't really need any of these buildings right now. So I think what we're going to do is uh, increase his gold income by 50%. So we're going to produce merchandise for a few turns. We'll, get, we'll just get that queued up for like five turns, and then uh, we'll come back and see if anything changes then. Okay, Festival of Magic. Festival of Magic. Organized and collected 208 mana. Oh, that's cool. So this, oh wait. Oh, you declared war on us, huh? I guess you didn't like us inside of your borders. Huh. Well, uh, tough. Okay, so, we are in our first war because I'm, uh, gonna f accept this war with open arms. Because we need something to do. We need to keep our troops busy. They get complacent, and when they get complacent, that, you know, stuff happens, and it's never good. Okay, so we have some goblin berserkers. So let's take our berserkers and we'll move them over and join them with all these big beetles. And we will start moving this troop down here as well. And we already have the dwarf unit down here. So let's just uh, move a hex or two in. Let's try and reveal some stuff. So that's an independent army there. That's This is their army. Okay, what do they have? Well, they have a unicorn. Oh, excuse me. I had some popcorn earlier, and it's uh, it's not agreeing with me too much. So they have two heroes, an arch druid and a sorcerer, and then they have two of the big beetles, a unicorn and a prospector. So what I'm actually going to do... So I'm going to back these dwarves up into this hill over here, and we'll wait for that other unit to get down to us. And once that unit uh, gets down to us, we'll go in together and as a group take them out. Okay, so these units tremble in fear. They want to run. What is it? Bunch of nothing. Yeah, they can run. That's fine. Ooh, a human hunter has joined our army. So what do invisible for other players do to forest concealment? Oh, that's nice. So we can use him as like a forward scout. Almost. Nope, don't go down there. That's that's a bad idea. Tropical. 
So you can hide in, in that forest there and kind of keep an eye on things. Huh? That's actually pretty handy. Are you guys going to run too? Oh no, you are not going to run. What is it? Draconian Apprentice and some Wisps. I'm just going to auto-combat that because... Yeah, I mean... That wasn't even a challenge. Blade of the Blade Dancer. And uh, when we were to the point where if we're going to manually be doing combat, we want it to uh, be pretty interesting. So we have a Ceremonial Elf Guard Spear, which gives us one physical melee strength, and uh, melee attacks deal one physical damage. And But we just pick this up, plus two physical melee strength, and attacks deal plus two melee damage. And it has backstab, so plus six physical damage when performing a melee flanking attack. That seems awesomely brutal. We'll hang on to the spear as well still, but... So we're really getting geared up up here with our hero. And looks like we get the level up as well. So... What do we... we do, uh, I mean, we kind of uh, kind of don't want any of this, to be honest. Um... Because we, we don't really have ranged units. We're all about giants going in and smashing. While climbing, the unit is able. And that's like, that and Blood Honor are the only ones that apply to our entire unit. Um, well, let's just get some hit points, I guess. We'll grab some hit points. We'll save the other for four points for, you know, if we level up and get something much better. Okay. So, we have grown into a metropolis down here. This hero still wants to join us, but we still don't have the money. So then we'll, let's go clear this, this little thing here out. Ah, uh, yeah, they can run. It's a bunch of little... Little wimps, they aren't going to do anything. So we have a domain invasion. That can't be good. So what is it? It's a bunch of revenants. We do have an army here. Uh, <laughs> if that qualifies as an army. Is this... Is this the this other player? Or is this an independent faction? These are independents. Hmm. So independents have come into our land. Let's... We'll move... We're taking a detour down to that city. We're going to move down here and try and uh, intercept those independents with these guys. Maybe to level these guys up a bit before we get down into the fight. And uh, you guys are just going to chill there until we... Uh, take care of it and this guy's gonna scout around we're gonna try and find uh, this person here that has this scout you know flubbing around in our lands which I mean we're not seeing too much right now okay so we have researched that steadfast thing we produced a frost giant and a big beetle Let's figure out what else we want to research now. Okay, so we unlocked Bloodbath. Incites troops to take down their enemies in the most brutal ways imaginable, leaving nothing but a red-stained battlefield. Bestows plus five physical strength on all friendly units. That seems awesome. Um, that does seem awesome, but what else here? All units and target friendly army gain an additional movement equal to their movement points to end of turn. All affected units to lose 50% of their current health. Well, that's not so good. So we don't want to be damaging our own units. Units with volunteer gain. Okay, the caster and their... The caster and their empire's heroes gain inspire loyalty. All units in the army of a hero that has inspired loyalty gain volunteer. Units with volunteer require f minus 50% gold upkeep. That seems like that's something we should be doing. 
because uh, we're putting a strain on our gold, which uh, we, we don't want to do. And we can make some war breeds, yes. Turn out the war breeds. As in, like, all the war breeds. What, what is guardhouse? Pikeman units gain additional rank. Archer units. Stone walls. Um, okay, well, we'll go ahead and build stone walls. We'll pump out some war breeds and then build stone walls because why not? And what is up here? Is there an enemy city over here? Is this where that scout came from? I feel like it might be. Oh, what is that? It's another bone dragon. Bone dragon and some hellhounds, huh? Um. Well, let's continue exploring down here. And the frost giant... Oh, we have a full thing here, yeah. So we have some frost giants just chilling. Uh, okay, did those independents leave? I believe they did. I believe we scared them off. They don't want to fight. Or is that them up here? Do we... Do we just never clear this out? Unexplored. How did... How did I miss that? <laughs> okay, well... Let's, uh, send that unit down to clear that out. Okay, so back to the big beetles here. Okay, we want them to come down and join our army down here. I can't believe we missed that. Wow. I'm blind. I really am. I'm going blind. It's just proof. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so. Nightmare Hellhound Kabold. You guys found me in the forest. I'm dead. I'm just gonna auto. Yep. You were a brave little uh, scout. Okay, so you guys came back in. Hmm. They're going to get annoying. Well, let's go clear this out. Probable victory. Okay, let's manual this one. See what we can get going here. Ooh. This is an interesting battlefield. Okay, so we're fighting some humans. We probably want to focus on these knights or these... Wizards here, uh, priests. So I'm, th I'm thinking, um, we'll t probably take the priests out as soon as we can, and then focus on the knights, and then we'll mop up after that. Assuming everything goes to plan. Let's put it that way. So, can, what, what spells can we cast? Killer instinct. Leader not present. Double cost. Steadfast War, Lion's Courage, Berserk. Can we Berserk anything? 15%, 55, 25. So we have a 55% chance of uh, Berserking one of these Civic Guards. Let's go ahead and... Nope. They resisted. Okay. So. We can't reach the priests. So what we can do... Let's fire our... Flight Doctor's Poison into these knights. And then... See, these big beetles we want to smash. Overwhelm, plus one melee strength, shield. But see, they... See, these knights are going to be the problem here. Huh. Two to four, they retaliate for ten to fourteen. Yeah, these knights really are going to be the problem. Let's fire another shot into them. I think if we can uh, take these knights out without really suffering too many casualties, 
we uh, we might have a chance to white the field. Yeah, that's that's some damage. Okay, so now we can crash the beetles in. But the beetles still really don't do anything, though. Huh. I mean, these knights are the problem. Well, here are the last ones. Can't really do much here. So... We'll move you over here and try and block these these guys from flanking us. Because that's the last thing we need when we're trying to fight off these knights. And, yep, that's why these priests are going to be a pain. I don't know, guys. Okay. So, do we have any more spells we can cast? Oh, we can cast Phoenix Warrior. Or we can cast Killer Instinct. Target friendly unit gains Draconian, Dwarf, High Elf, Goblin, Human, and Orc Slayer. Or we can cast Lion's Courage. What's our situation? So we're at 41. They're back up to 50. Um, we can shoot the priests from here, but we're not going to kill them. Can we maybe... 15. Can't be 55. Let's try and berserk again. Okay, so we berserk them, so... We can cause some panic and chaos back here, and we don't have to worry about taking attacks from that unit for a few turns. Um, I think we probably just continue to focus on the knights. Because we're not gonna, we're not in a position here that we can, you know, take out the priests in one hit. And if we fo split our attack between the two, the priests are just going to heal the knights, and the knights are going to be even more difficult to take out. So I think we f just continue to focus on the knights, stick to our game plan. They're down to 37. We can probably kill them with, with our beetle. So let's try. See if we can take them out. Okay, so the beetles took them out. Now, move the marauders here. Ooh. We, ooh. YOLO, right? I mean, either we kill them or they kill us. It's one or the other. Oh, they killed us. Oh, no. We have one life. They have one life. So that unit's definitely going to come in and wipe out those priests for us. So we can kind of focus over here. Have this Marauder unit smash into those. Did we wipe them out? Did we kill that unit? So they're going to come in and kill the priests for us. And it's our turn. So now... <laughs> Uh, fire into these dudes. Oosh. Move up. Fire into them again. Oh, we can't reach them. Okay, can we flank and smash these dudes? We can kill them. We killed them. We're pretty badly wounded. So we pulled that out. Um... We made a plan, we stuck to it, and it paid off. This guy came so unbelievably close to death. I thought he was dead. But we pulled it off. Ooh. Keeper brooch of the valley. Brooch, 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 whatever. What does that do? So forest concealment. It's invisible in forest. Plus one resistance. 40% blade protection. Um, okay. Well, let's just send it to this dude. So this unit is going to get on my nerves, but I 
feel like we need to come down here and join forces and uh, fight this other player. So, hopefully, uh, we can deal with it for the time being. And we'll continue to move forward here and see what's what's up this way. <coughs> so domain invasion. That scout again, huh? So we research and inspire loyalty. Blight Empire. So blight terrain gradually spreads out from the caster's empire. Interesting. Question is, do we want to do that? Hmm. Um. Huh. So what's this? Units are garrisoned cities with a wall gain plus two shield bonus. Units are gar garrisoned in cities without a wall gain three physical strength. So, I mean, there's mana core riders here, which are good. And cities with a great beast layer. Do we have great beast layer? I don't know if we do. So I'm, I'm trying to decide. Do we want to start working on the manacle rider? Because it's going to take eleven turns. Do we want blight empire? Do we want fertility rights or warfare three? I'm thinking we're probably going to go with fertility rights right now. It's only going to take us one turn. And it'll help our cities to grow pure faster. Um, okay, so we have those units here that are going to cause problems. So we probably want to uh, let's produce a few more doors. Make a few more doors there. Okay, so now we can join up our forces down here. Take our big beetles in. And we will reinforce them with doors. And that's good. That's going to end this turn. We're just going to wait right there. You guys can go back to the city. And heal up. And, ooh, what is that? So there's a, the, is that the same bone dragon that was down here? So we might get into a fight with the dragon. Yeah, we'll let you guys run. And that'll end that turn. Alright, so let's see here. We produced a war breed. Which is awesome. Our item has arrived. So let's go ahead and equip it. So he equipped that item. We made a observatory. We have... Oh, wait, what? Domain invasion. Oh, these dudes again. Okay. And the computer has attacked us. So the bone dragon and the birds have attacked us. Bring it on, I say. I say, bring it on. You're not the first dragon we've encountered. You ain't got nothing. We're gonna smash your body and then we're gonna make a campsite from your bones. I'm gonna s sleep in your skull. That's what's gonna happen right now. Okay, so choking fumes. Yep. Dragon machine, undead, and corporal units are immune. Yep. Okay. So basically they're immune to the effects of the battlefield. So let's get our giants charging straight ahead. Skadoosh. Get these giants up into battle here. Um and we'll get the firstborns up in here as well. And our goblins. And our little poopy marauders. 
This, this first turn's just basically charge straight ahead. Um, attack whatever you can see. So can, can we berserk? Can we berserk? Oh, we can. We can try and berserk this bird. Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, yeah, we berserk the bird. Awesome. Yeah, you guys defend. Bring it on, dragon. Oh, what you gonna do? Got one of your own birds attacking you. Alright, so dragon's not wasting any time. It's gonna do his nasty, smelly breath. It's garlic breath attack. And then it's our turn. So let's start smashing a dragon, shall we? We're not even scared. Excuse me for one second. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, you know, get, still getting a lot of phone calls with a lot of stuff to take care of with the situation with my mom. Um, where was I? Ah, we were smashing this dragon. So we just smashed this dragon. It's at half, half health. Okay, the marauders cannot get to it. The goblins can get to this bird, though. We can't... Hmm. Huh. Well. Let's move this giant up. And try and flank the dragon. And we'll get our doors over here. And we'll just smash into this bird. Hmm. Life steal. What's still life? I didn't see. I wasn't paying attention. I lay, I looked away to uh, scratch my eye. I didn't see what happened. I just saw life steal popped up. I'm not sure who stole life from who. Hmm. Let's let's not cast spells. Let's try and get ourselves up into combat. Actually, for once. I don't think we have personally really done too much damage. Okay. So we're gonna... Oh yeah. Oh, fuck you, dragon. These giants are so awesome, man. Okay. <laughs> Smash! Giants, smash! Yeah, they attacked us and they lost because we have giants. Alright, so we researched the fertility rights expansionism. No, wait, hold on. I didn't mean to click on that. I just went to outpost gaining additional 20 hammers and their population growth is doubled. I, no, we don't. I don't think we care about that, do we? I don't think we do. Let's go with warfare. I mean, we can always stand to cast more spells, right? Um, let's just come through here. Auto combat. Just smash all the things. And we now have a war on our side. Which we are going to send all the way back. And... We are getting ready to go into this uh, city to make an attack and hopefully siege our first uh, enemy city. But we're about at time. Um, we might, this might actually be a little bit long of an episode, longer than normal. So I'm going to put a cut in here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you are excited because we are about to go smash down the doors of an enemy city for the first time in the game. So that means things are really starting to pick up. We're really starting to progress. And I, like I said, you know, this is it. This is what we've been waiting for. So I hope to see you guys back here for the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment. Oh, you know, you know the drill. Um, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.